Let's now go through all seven of the steps for setting up a motor and system setup. First, we need to add a motor to the list of motors and system setup. To do this, click the plus sign next to motors in the list on the left, click add motor, and then type the motor number you want to use. For this example, I will set up motor three. First of the seven steps is to fill out the amplifier information page. Here, you'll want to set all of the fields corresponding to the amplifier that you are using. If you are using a Delta Tau amplifier, you can simply select Delta Tau under Manufacturer and then pick the amplifier's part number from the database list. The vast majority of the parameters will be filled in. Usually you only need to enter in the bus voltage. If you are using a third-party amplifier, however, you need to click Add New under Manufacturer and then enter the appropriate information. My particular amplifier for this example is manufactured by Delta Tau, so I'll select that from the list of manufacturers. And I'm using a 3U042 amplifier. The only quantity I need to edit is the input voltage, which I know to be 48 volts DC in my demonstration unit. If you are entering information for a third-party amplifier, for direct PWM control of a DC brushless motor, you need to make sure that the following parameters are specified. Direct PWM control set to true. PWM command set to true. Maximum input voltage needs to be specified. Continuous and instantaneous current need to be specified including the time allowed at instantaneous current, which is usually two seconds. The input voltage, which is also known as the bus voltage in volts DC. The amplifier fault polarity. For Delta Tau amplifiers, this is usually low true. The maximum ADC current, also known as the max ADC. This is the amount of amps that the amplifier puts out when it receives the maximum current command that it can possibly receive. And finally, the ADC resolution for the analog to digital converters on the amplifier in units of bits. Once you've entered the required information, click Accept and then the Next button to continue.